dear friend, welcome to our PRDR Battery channel. I'm Venting. Today we collect some questions from our customers left on our website and to answer these questions. We invited our company technology expert, Mr. Brian. Hi everyone, I'm Brian. Many customers are quite interested in battery business. They say battery has good profit and the users need some every day. But they can't tell out which kind of batteries they really need. So Brian, can you help some out? Sure. Batteries have two categories according to where the battery can be recharged or not. If it cannot be recharged, that means one time use only. In the market, alkaline battery, carbon zinc, silver oxide, some lithium batteries such as CR123A, CR2, these are one time use battery. When their energy is used up, they cannot be reused anymore. If it can be recharged, they are the rechargeable battery like nickel, hydrogen, lithium, iron. But the rechargeable battery also has its service life. Each time charge may result in energy loss. So they have a limit of recycle times, like a nickel hydrogen, normally 500 to 1000 times recycles. Regarding battery nominations, according to different standards, they may have several. For example, for five regular alkaline and carbon zinc batteries, there are four main kinds of nominations. The first one is common nominations, applicable worldwide, but they might lead to misunderstanding because nominations AA, AAA, C, D, numbers are for alkaline as well as for common zinc. The second kind of nominations is from IEC standard. IEC standards for International uh, Engineering Committee, which is worldwide recognized. And there are another two nominations. One is NC, American National Standards Institute, which is more used in North American area, when the other is GIS, Japanese standard. Here is another customer, Nielsen, asking, I'm interested in other kinds of battery and want to start this business. However, due to coronavirus, we can't come to see how an alkaline battery is made. Can you explain a bit here? Based on alkaline battery chemical reaction, the alkaline battery is mainly made of dioxide, manganese, zinc, potassium hydroxide. Why we call it alkaline battery? Uh, it is because its electrolyte is made of alkaline material potassium hydroxide. Let us take AR6 AA battery production procedure for example. The procedure starts from the left side. The first step is to make three cathode rings made of dioxide, manganese, carbon, graphite, and some adhesion agents. Then three cathode rings inserted into the steel can. We insert a separate sheet through cathode ring holes afterwards. Next step, we put zinc paste inside the separate sheet at the end part. Finally, we will put a current collector made of needle gasket and a copper nail. The whole procedure seems very simple, but it's quite hard to make it a better performance and a lower leakage rate. It requires sophisticated machines, QC control, and good material. Fortunately, these are just our key advantages. Now let us watch uh, our advanced production lines. We now have 28 World Advanced Alkaline Battery Assembly Lines, among which we have World Fastest Speed and Most Effective Operating Assembly Line. Our newest developed lines are operated completely unmanned and intelligentialized. The line is designed with high-speed train appearance and equipped with MIS Central Information Integration System, constant online video monitoring system, and intelligent robot transferring system, which makes us become world top battery facility manufacturer. with us.
And uh, here there's a design stage, which kind of notes he should pay attention to when designing his own brand battery label and the cards. There are some notes we must follow according to Barry Sanders' web packaging design. With the exemption of small berries, each berry shall be marked with the following information. 1. Expiry date. Recommended use months plus year indicated at the bottom of the label. Polarity of the positive terminal. Then 3. Uh, nominal voltage. Different battery has different nominal voltage. Like AR6 is 1.5, while 23A is 12. Then the nominations. And the next note is battery brands. And number six notes cautionary advice like do not recharge, do not short circuit. The last note is country of origin. Thanks, Brent. Michael, hope it can help you out and move our cooperation faster. Let's check next question. It's regarding battery transportation. Is there any special notice our customer need to follow for shipment by sea? Not too much. The majority of our products are general chemical products. So when booking the vessel, we only need to provide MSDS certificate of certification for safe transport of chemical goods. However, there is an exemption. Nickel hydrogen recharge battery is dangerous cargo. So it requires special documents, for instance, DG cargo package certificate. Besides, on the mass carton, would indicate cautionary advice on one side of the carton and a DJ icon on the same side. So for customer want to cooperate with us, don't worry, most of our products are simply cargo, will not bring trouble to you. And here is another question about battery usage warnings. So what do we need to put attention to? Yeah, for primary battery, please do not recharge, short circuit, and dispose of in fire. It may cause explosion. Do not disassemble it. The electrolyte may corrode the users. And when you put batteries inside the device, you can notice the polarities. Do not reverse it. And some small batteries, like coin batteries, must keep tuning away from them. They might swallow it by mistake and cause injury. Certainly, use our anti swallow packages for coin batteries can avoid this situation. This is our anti swallow package. It's perfectly sealed in the double blister, and the children can hardly tear it up. It's an ideal method to solve this issue. Perfect. Since time is limited, let's answer the last question. Customers are the most concerned about the battery leakage. Can you explain to them? Sure. First of all, we should be aware of that leakage is a method to avoid battery explosion, and we don't know why the battery may leak. During the battery reaction, for example, organic battery it generates gas, mainly the hydrogen. When the gas accumulates more and more, the pressure inside the battery reaches its max and to avoid explosion, our anti-explosion seal detects and opens automatically. Then the electrolyte and zinc paste go out. It's like, just like a balloon. When you blow too much, the balloon may explode. So you have to stop and let gas out. But what causes result in the leakage? According to our records, 95% claims are due to end users misuse. Users may leave batteries inside the toys, flashlights for a long time. Please note, even though you turn off the device, batteries inside still have a slight current going in the circuit and battery. That a long time inside the device may increase the risks of leakage. So this is why we ask our customers to take out batteries after usage. Certainly, there are other causes, like stored in humid and high temperature condition. It may accelerate battery self-discharge. But do not worry about the leakage, as long as it's just not the lot problem, just an isolated case. Thanks, Brian. Thanks for your time. Today, we can't reply all the questions here, but you may left your questions at our website. My colleagues will reply you on time. Bye. See you ne next time. Bye.